Good morning. Here we are at Golden Pond with our Golden Pan cooking show. And we're going to make antipasto today. And in my nationality, when you invited somebody over for the dinner that you wanted to impress, you made an antipasto. I never went to school for any kind of cooking. I come from an old Italian family. And my dad was one of these kind of guys that when we came home from church, he'd point to you and say, you make bread, you make pasta, you make sauce, and you were allowed to screw up only once. And uh, that's the, I've been making homemade pasta now for over 40 years at home. Oh, wow. Now, is pasta your favorite thing to make? Or do you have one a favorite dish? Fa one of my favorites is, is making pasta because I never found anybody that doesn't like it. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, what, what's your favorite sauce to make with, with, with that pasta? Marinara. And actually, my wife, my wife usually makes the sauces. My wife makes the best marinara sauce in New England. She really does. All right, what are you making here today? We're making fried dough. Uh, in many parts of the country, it's called dough boys or funnel cakes. In my hometown, where Little Italy, we call it pizza frit, but it's fried dough. And I'm also going to be making some fried zucchini this afternoon. Very nice. Now, um, what, what made you uh, want to start the show here on uh, H Camp? S somebody asked me, I had been making little goodies like this right along since I've been in uh, assisted living. I was in Franklin before coming here. And uh, every month or so I'd cook something and just people loved it. And when I came here, somebody heard about it. They asked me if I'd do it, I did. And that's what we're doing. You enjoying it? I, I love it. Uh, I, there's nothing better to see a smile on somebody's face when they're eating. I agree with you there. What are uh, some of the recipes you'll be showing on HCAM? Well, we're going to be making homemade ravioli. We're going to be making all kinds of pasta. We're going to be making soup with homemade pastina. Whatever Jen decides that she'd like to have, that's what we're going to make. But you can bet your life it's going to be based around pasta. And I'm sure it's going to be delicious as well. I, I hope it is. I hope it is. Wow, that's beautiful color. Reno Bachi, one of our beloved residents um, who loves to cook, we thought it'd be a wonderful thing to have a, um, a cooking show here at Golden Palm. We've never had one, and he just he went with the idea and was just wonderful about it. And uh, Harry cooks some very delicious food. He, that's an understatement. He really cooks some wonderful stuff, um, and I think for our next one, he's actually going to cook Italian wedding soup. But he's done an amazing antipasto. He's done um, uh, just how to make pasta from scratch, which is easier than you think. So I think he just adds a lot of cultural flavor to, to the show. Now, do you have a uh, favorite dish that he makes? You know, I'm Italian. I love to eat, so as long as somebody's cooking it for me, I'll eat it. Absolutely. So uh, what's your uh, role on the show? I understand you kind of help out a little bit. I do. So my role is basically Reno's sidekick. Um, he actually is, is instructive and illustrative, but also makes sure that he corrects me if I'm doing something wrong. I tend to move fast. Um, and so he says, you know, slow down, slow down, and, and he'll be able to add a little bit of uh, comedy to our, our show here. Do you, do you enjoy cooking with Reno? Oh, I love cooking with Reno. You know, usually when I'm home, I'm cooking alone, I'm cooking for my family. But to have somebody who loves cooking as much as I do, it's really a pleasure. And I knew her when she was poor. <laughs> 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 well, I guess we'll smell like garlic today. <laughs> Reno, can I put this lettuce in the bowl now? Yes, please. My role on the show is basically just another assistant for Reno. He always needs a little extra help and uh, he also teaches me how to cook. All right, now, do, do you have any cooking experience? What's your cooking experience? I actually do. I graduated from Montechusett Regional Vocational Technical School, and I took culinary, ar culinary arts there in high school. So that's what I have for cooking. <laughs> All right, now, how is it working with Reno? It's working great with Reno. Actually, I graduated in 1988, which was a real long time ago. And... Um, 
I really never did a whole lot of cooking other than at home for my family, so I never did anything professionally. And I've learned a lot of Italian dishes with Reno, which has been really nice. All right, now do you have a favorite thing that you like to make? Or? I like to make stuffed grape leaves, which is a, gri which is a Greek dish. Um, I learned from an old Greek woman, and uh, that's one of my favorite things to make. And cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I heard they're making a uh, fried dough on the show today. Are you excited about that? I'm excited about fried dough. Fried dough is one of my favorite things to eat, even though it's very fattening. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to serve this now with garlic bread, and all these people are going to get sick. <laughs> <laughs> they're really not. I think they're going to really enjoy it, and I hope they do. Thank you very much.